The mending charmer power can be mend can be used to mend uh, objects and pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would the like power. to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly Rebellion. symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps if you never thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair. Yeah, the up. Revelio. Yet really unlocked a lot of side quest related activities, so let's just move on. Accio! Revelio! How nice to see you, my young friend. Let me in here. Might as well explore a little bit. Get more galleons. Nope, can't get in there yet. Revelio. Memorandum, date the 31st of December 1875, from the Aura Office. Subject, Borgen and Brooks. Borgen and Brooks has an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more ores to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Instructions to follow. Revelio. Shop's oil badge. Ores comprise the Ministry of Magical Law Enforcement and protect the Wizarding World from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. The this oil badge for, belongs to Professor Shop. Revelio. Miss Ness, Professor Shop, don't mind me. I may or may not have just broken something of it is. It's uh, not be here no more. Nope. 
Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've yeah. been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Okay. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Thank you. Nifty. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Hmm. I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen... Like a moth with lace. Just stupid looking. Okay. Back to what's doing. Revelio. Oh, I did. When you get this, when we're done. Rebellion. Thank you. Three sisters' bells. The three sisters' bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful step, steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Ogleshire. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen 
Way across the highlands, when they rung in the castle, the locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Don't mind me. Two more chest. Well, fancy meeting you. Nice. Goblin Artifact. Horns like this were used by uh, goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy uh, witches and wizards. The horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hogshead Inn with a wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. Rebellio. Marks. Eventually, the location of the first known instance of an ar arguably suspensible successful casting of Bombarda, date unknown, caster unidentifiable. Rebellion. Can't open, can't open you yet. Right there. Frog Choir. Here perch slimy yet symphonic frogs that comprise the Hogwarts Frog Choir. These magical amphibians can sing in six part harmony uh, and hold a pitch better than most humans. Rebellion. Rebellion. I used to like transfiguration. Maybe just hit the hogs, mate. Thank you. Flattened armor. This set of armor belonged to Sir Skagglesorp, the Heedless who unwisely challenged a mountain troll through a game of musical chairs. Revelio. Broken Broom. This broken broom belonged to Celine Wharton, Wharton Abbey and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar ap apparition charm to fellow studios. No one knows if she's probably not. Hello, Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Nifty. That poppin' dough. Revelio. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Does she have Speaking blast right through him? She seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Ooh. 
spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Revelio. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Oh? Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Fair enough. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion for you. Okay, then. Just go ahead and look for it. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? Hippogriff. See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Nifty! Do you think Poppy's already seen the Hippogriffs? Absolutely! Why do we already To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh! Hence the name. Really? That's how I can go in because of that. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah! You can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Bit of a jar. You had much of a chance to explore the castle. A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. You don't need my secrets. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Whatever you say, senorita. So really, how's your, that chin coming? I'm curious. If he's still here. Revelio. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Oh? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. <laughs> What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay then. A demi guys. 
I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin Rebellion. juice. Rebellion. But he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Akio! Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is. Or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Turn back to use Cushiardus on her. Revelio. Damn it. Honestly, one could bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. I see we all these locked like doors, and I want to enter free. them. Let me in! I haven't done a manual save in a minute. I believe I'm already almost little. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Ditton seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new one. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Fair enough. Remember. Have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade Village with limited different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your, your field map guide. Hogsmeade shows shops and points of interest. You can check any of these by highlighting any kind of I will start with Ollivander. Let's get my wand sorted. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um. Just a moment, please. Uh, Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, mm. are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But, of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Mm. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Nice. Ah, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Nope. Oh dear. I do believe that is not the right wand. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness! I do believe there's another way one. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. 
How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. I can't make that honey brown one. What colors do we add? Curious oh. indeed. How intriguing. One moment. Okay, so, so pine, horse, so according to the quick, the hard, hard work with us, I'm a pine wood, pine wood. Three quarters inches. How intriguing. And hard flexibility is specifically what that says. Ooh, good. So this, so this is where it really matters. Do I want powerful? I prefer consistent, I think. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable. And what do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay. Accio! Levioso! Rebellion. 